Now, a few weeks ago, we had the chance to take a look at the new Peugeot 208, and now it's a chance to have a walk around the Renault Clio, the 208's big rival. Now, this is the new Mark V version, available this year, and it's set to remain Europe's best-selling car. Now, it may look very similar to the old Mark IV, and there's a key reason for that, because the Mark IV was a tremendously big seller for Renault. Now at the front, you've got the new Renault face with the new C-segment day running lights. This car's got full LED headlights and it's a great looking car, isn't it? Nicely tapered off at the back. You've still got the hidden door handles, LED rear lights at the back. The whole thing is a very evolutionary design and I think it looks brilliant. Let's take a look inside. Now, if the outside was evolutionary, in here it's a real revolution because, I mean, just look at it. Now, the first thing that strikes you is the design because everything you see looks as though it's been really nicely designed. Look at this centre console here, the way it sort of floats in mid-air. The design of the upper dashboard, the way it curves around, giving a feeling of lot of space. It feels a lot bigger in here than it ever did. Now, another key thing in here is quality, because my goodness me, does this thing feel really well screwed together. Forget old, nastily built Renaults, this Clio Mark V is, is a big change. Lots of lovely soft touch plastics around the place, nice detailing. Look at the new window switches, totally new for this car. And it's clear Renault have been looking at the Germans in that regard. Speaking of the Germans, look at these knobs down here. They turn with a nice click, nice precision. That vent is very Germanic as well, but it doesn't have the sort of the seriousness of a German car. It feels very fun and lots of frivolity. Now up here, this is a top spec car, so you get this brand new nine inch touch screen. It's got uh, Renault's R-Link system, but it's been updated for this car, so it looks a lot better. It's a lot easier to use. But in the cars like the Renault Megane, the uh, ventilation controls are accessed via the touch screen. Here, they've returned to the ventilation, proper ventilation knobs, and it's so much better for it. Now there's a virtual cockpit as well, so the sat-nav screen can be uh, repeated in front of you. Lots of nice storage, big door bins, nice bit of storage down here, nice seat fabrics. Everything in here has been really nicely thought of. There's a good bit of space in the back too, not massive, probably on par with a Ford Fiesta and a Peugeot 208. Not enormous like I say, but for a super mini it's more than good enough. Now in the boot is a bit larger than it was before, but the key gain is a variable boot floor so you can uh, you don't have to bend down quite so far to load your shopping in and there's a bit of useful underfloor storage as well. Engine wise, well there's going to be a 0.9 three cylinder turbocharged petrol engine taken from the old Renault Clio. There's a new 1.5 petrol shared with the Mercedes A-Class and there's also going to be a 1.6 litre diesel. Now coming in 2020, there's also going to be a 1.6 litre petrol engine mild hybrid. No word on an RS model yet, but I would expect that car to be at least two years away because Renault would definitely be doing an RS Clio. Prices, well they should kick off from around 14 grand.